Hi guys, today I want to share my opinions about the Dunlop FX500. I was very surprised with how easily I could generate more ragged head speed. It has a bigger sweet spot, making it easy to generate a lot of power. I felt that the FX500 improved my serve with more power and has a great feeling for volleys and slices. <laughs> Dunlop has done a great job adding comfort to this model. From the baseline I felt a lot of power coming out of my shots, but still I could control it pretty well. The string pattern of the FX500 is 1619 and it weighs 300 grams. In this drill, I'm trying to take the ball on the rise. This shot will allow you to be more aggressive, stepping into the court and taking time away from your opponent. You want to hit the ball at your shoulder high and go through the ball with your racket. As I mentioned before, the Dunlop FX500 has a bigger sweet spot making it easier to generate more power. I felt that the racket helped me a lot for my net game and gave me a great touch and feeling for my volleys. I really like and enjoy to play doubles so I will definitely will recommend the FX500 if you like it too. If you have good control but you're looking for some extra power, this is definitely your racket. The serve is one of the areas that the FX500 helped me the most. It made me gain at least 10 extra miles per hour on this shot. I really think Dunlop has done an excellent job with the FX and the SX series. <laughs> 